The Zephyr valve is the first endobronchial valve to receive approval from the FDA for patients with either heterogeneous and homogeneous emphysema with little to no collateral ventilation. Determining collateral ventilation status is a key step in determining candidacy for Zephyr valves because the valves will only benefit target lobes without collateral ventilation. But before we talk about what collateral ventilation is, let's start with basic anatomy. Your lungs are made up of five lobes. The right lung is composed of three lobes, the upper lobe, the middle lobe, and the lower lobe. These lobes are separated by two fissures, which keep the lobes from communicating with each other. The left lung is composed of only two lobes, the upper and lower lobes, and is separated by only one fissure. Fissures serve as a physical boundary containing air within each lobe. Sometimes these boundaries are not complete, allowing air to pass freely between lobes. This is called collateral ventilation. It is important to identify whether the target lobe has collateral ventilation, because Zephyr valves will only work if collateral ventilation is not present. Zephyr valves are placed in a lobe which has collateral ventilation. The lobe will continue to refill through collateral airways, not allowing the lobe to deflate. Therefore, patients with collateral ventilation are unlikely to benefit from Zephyr valves. When there is no collateral ventilation present in the target lobe, Zephyr valves are placed in all airways leading to the most diseased lobe of the lung. The one-way valves function by preventing air from entering the lobe on inhalation and allow air to escape on exhalation. This allows the lobe to deflate, reducing the volume in the treated lobe, which is only accomplished if there is no collateral ventilation reinflating the treated lobe.